stitch. Candles actually produce a surprising amount of heat, I found out also. Look at this little candle and the amount of light it's producing. Like, whoa! <laughs> it's fucking bizarre! Good morning, the power is out. Look at this. The door to put to like put in the power is behind all of this shit. In what world am I meant to get back there? <laughs> okay, so I can like step over that. And then all of these. Ugh. I'm gonna put here. Um Alright bitch. <laughs> I don't wanna do this. Okay. Like, now what? Okay, wait. This is going back up. Ugh. I was making a noise. This isn't even going to work. I want to press the button for the emergency to come on, and it's going to say no, there is no emergency. Cool. Eat me. No, don't get stuck on something. Keep going. What the hell is it stuck? Whatever, I'm done with this. Like, now what? Because it's dark as shit. I don't even have light. It's... What time is it? It's like it's 11 a.m. And look how fucking dark it is. It's like, <laughs> look at that! Well, actually it looks kind of light. It's 11 a.m. And it's the middle of the day and the sky is grey. And then you go to sleep and the sky is grey. Actually, at night it clears up, so you can see stars. That's pretty nice. But the sky is grey. Do you I'm gonna check for a meal. There's nothing. Isn't this creepy? Like, what the hell? fucking crisps beside my bed which i never eat crisps but last night i was so fucking hungry and i was like well all there is to eat is crisps so i had a fucking bag of crisps and it's like 200 calories for that tiny little bag and i just put it beside <laughs> there's another like wrapper there for fucking chocolate two things i don't even like by the way wow the lighting is great my <laughs> blinds are fully open you saw that i have to light a candle bitch Candles actually produce a surprising amount of heat, I found out also. Look at this little candle and the amount of light it's producing. Like, whoa! <laughs> it's fucking bizarre! To me, at least. I mean, it's not because I know the power of fire. I sound like a fucking idiot. Like, everything I say... Listen, if it sounds stupid, I'm joking. If it sounds smart... I'm being serious, but that's not even true because I'm always joking. People don't even like treat me like I'm a real person because they don't act like a real person. You know what I mean? And I don't have a life. I have this. Hi, hello. I don't talk to people. I don't know people outside of this house. It takes me like two fucking days to work up the courage to go to the shop, to go to the store. 
I fucking hate myself in the way that I look. <laughs> the top I'm wearing right now, for another candle. Do you believe in life after love? Do you? Cause I can feel something inside me say. That's me pointing, that's a mirror pointing away from the candles and that's the mirror pointing at the candles. Use mirrors for lighting. Um, I forget what I was saying, right, this top. And I, this is like meant to be off the shoulder, but it's more just a window into my armpits. Also, it makes me look wide. Like I've gained a lot of weight recently. Like a lot. But it still makes me look wider than I am. I think tops should be like fitted in the back and then loosen the front. <laughs> My mom just sent me an emoji of the like eye rolling. <laughs> She just sent me another message saying going easy, go easy with the boards when you're moving them because it's like fiberglass and they're delicate. They're not like fiberglass. Well, what do you mean they're delicate? Did I break something? I don't think I broke anything. I mean, I don't think I broke anything, right? I don't think I broke anything. I want coffee. More than coffee, I want like a sugar-free energy drink. Okay, so I've like um like a like a plan, right? So I got back from university. So what I okay, I went to England, University of England, with the sole intent of getting a job and living there for a little while to like sort my shit out before I came back here. Could not get a job in England. <laughs> I interviewed everywhere. Well, I interviewed, yeah, like four places. I interviewed four places. I applied everywhere. Um, and there was a place that like gave me a trial run. They said they would pay me for the trial run for that night and they never did and they never contacted me again. I thought they should contact you to tell you you didn't get the job. I feel like that should be mandatory. Hey, this is just an email or a message or a phone call to say you didn't get the job. Move on. Why don't they do that? It's so shitty. It's so you can like hang on. <sighs> Why didn't they pay me? <laughs> right, so I couldn't get a job in England. I had to come home. I didn't even have money for the fucking plane ticket. And my fucking family had to send me money. And it was this whole stressful ordeal. And I ended up losing all of my stuff on the way here. And the stress of it caused me to vomit all over my floor when I got back but also because I was eating loose almonds in my from my bag which were mixed with like old pennies I'm pretty sure that's what made me throw up because I don't throw up I'm not that kind of person even in times where I've like gotten alcohol poisoning and try to make myself vomit and like I ask I asked this guy to like stick his fingers in my throat because I was like I need to vomit I need to vomit and I still couldn't vomit I just don't throw up but I threw up that time, and I'm pretty sure it was from the almonds and the old pennies. <laughs> I wasn't eating old pennies, but the, they were in a in a bag loose with old pennies. You know what I mean? Pennies are gross, and ever since I like, can't touch pennies because they make me feel like I'm going to vomit, which rightly so because they're disgusting. Okay, so now I'm home. Well, I've been home since July or June. I don't like June. I think, which is early for me because I always plan to stay as long as possible. But my sister was getting a boat back and she was like, do you want to come home with me on the boat? And I was like, yeah, sure. But then I missed my train. So then I had to leave on my own. And I already returned my key so I couldn't go back. Because I put my key in the like deposit, like the key deposit box. And it was after um, the like place had closed. So I couldn't go back and get it. And I just had to leave. <laughs> 
after I missed my train, I was like, well, I have to just be homeless until I can find a fucking other train and a flight. And, like, my family had to pay for it, not me. Which fucking sucked. It was really horrible. <laughs> and I don't like... I've been here six months. And I don't have a job here because I'm, like, scared to go outside. And I, like... I just feel like a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> because I'm doing nothing all day. The first thing I was meant to do was register with a doctor here so that I could get like um, medication for like depression or something because I need medication. <laughs> I know I do. I'm like smart but not being medicated makes me stupid so I'm like self-aware but at the same time I'm so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> um. And it's been six months and I haven't done that because I need, I can't fill out the form and I don't know where the doctor's office is. <laughs> Those are the two things that have been stopping me from like doing anything. And what if I get medicated and like nothing changes <laughs> and I'm just a piece of shit and can't do anything ever. It's been six fucking months of doing nothing because I need help to like fill in the form and I need someone to drive me to the doctor, the doctor's office. I don't even know where it is, but I can't like I applied to get universal credit um, and I had an appointment to confirm my um, to confirm my information and to confirm my identity. Because I don't have any valid ID. <laughs> um, because my... Uh, I had a citizen card and the like holographic thing got... Got... Um, like chipped off in my bag. It got scratched off from being loose in my bag. Um, so I can't even buy like alcohol. <laughs> Probably... That can't be a bad thing from an outside perspective, but from my perspective, pretty pissed. Cause I'm 22, I'm not, it's not like I'm 19 or something. Which I guess would be reasonable if people are like ID. Like you have to look over, I think you have to look over 25 actually, Never mind. Anyway, I have a universal credit appointment tomorrow where I have to bring a fucking doctor's note as explanation as to why I am not employed my dog's crying and it's so distracting. She's like sleeping and with every breath she's like oh. Oh. <laughs> She's looking at me now. Um I think it's because I'm crying and when I cry she cries and she comes over and she like tries to comfort me. She's like a therapy dog that wasn't trained. She's just I think it's because she's like part chihuahua and chihuahuas are very sympathetic to humans, I've heard. They like try to speak they try to speak. I think huskies are also very vocal in that way where they kind of understand but like I don't know big dogs are weird to me because I feel like there's a part of them that just needs a firm hand and commands and to be yelled at and stuff. They like need that because they're big dogs. They were bred for taking like orders. That, that, that's, that's what makes them happy is like go get this do this and they're like yes sir. Where small dogs are like I'm just a fucking baby. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on and I'm pissed because other dogs are bigger than me and I'm getting trampled all the time. Carry me. And I'm like, yeah, okay, come here. They're so weird. Little dogs are like humanity's joke. Why would they do that? Why would they breed dogs to be, like, obviously so they can catch rats, right? But that's ridiculous. <laughs> it's like, we're, we're talking about, um, 
anytime people are like, has science gone too far? I'm like, I don't know. I think it already went too far a long time ago, bitch. What are you talking about? Has it gone, has science gone too far? They're testing on, on whatever. What was I saying? Do I have attention deficit? Definitely. I don't think I have ADHD. I think I just, um, um, I lost that thought. <laughs> that wasn't a joke. I seriously lost that thought. Doesn't okay, doesn't warm lighting make me look kind of green? I think warm lighting makes my skin look green. If I cover the cool lighting, look at that. I look kind of green. Actually, I put on foundation, so I don't know if I'll show up green. What if I show my hand? Uh. My fucking ichthyosis hands. <laughs> like, what is this? Ichthyosis. <laughs> um, okay, so I have an appointment tomorrow, which is what I was saying. I was telling a story about my life and how it's been on hold for six months. <laughs> While I work up the courage to like do things on my own, which wasn't a problem when I was living alone, because I like living alone, but I hate living with people because it's too much to think about, and I I'm like antisocial as hell. I don't want to be antisocial, but I feel like there's just a lot of elements in like the way I was like raised and stuff that just make me not like people. <laughs> I'm like I can sort it out on my own, but then I can't. And I think if I lived on my own any further, I would have become homeless because, bitch, I was unemployed and I'm still unemployed. Thank God I'm living at home. Like, thank God I have this option. People, other people do not. And I don't even like it here because there's no food I can. <laughs> they don't get food that I like. They get the wrong kind of bread. <laughs> I'm such a whiny bitch. They get the wrong kind of bread. And I have no clothes that are nice because I don't have any money to buy any. What happened to the nice clothes you had? I don't know. I don't think I ever had nice clothes. Or I like outgrew them because my weight fluctuates a lot. Being skinny is really like, I can fucking wear anything in my fucking wardrobe. Like I'll just throw on literally anything that looks good. Whereas I gain a little bit of weight and all of a sudden it's like, mm, maybe you should think more about um, your fat. You can't be as bold with your fashion choices because people will yell at you. Like I gained a little bit of weight and I wore something that I would have worn when I was thin, thinner. And a guy insulted me in the street. He insulted me and he insulted my hair. And I know it was because um, I looked fat in the outfit I was wearing. I know it was. <laughs> Cause you don't say things like that to like skinny people. Huh, <sighs> anyway. What was I saying? Okay, I have an appointment tomorrow. <laughs> I have an appointment tomorrow with Universal Credit. And I need a doctor's note to explain why I don't have a job. But I have not been able to make a doctor's appointment. So I have to cancel the universal credit appointment and I should have canceled it last week because last week I should have known there's no way you're getting registered with a doctor at an appointment before this appointment, before this meeting. Um, and it's literally tomorrow and I still haven't canceled it and I, I'm, last time I tried to cancel a meeting they were like no you can still go in you can still do whatever and I was like okay so now I'm scared that I'm going to be totally unprepared for this thing and I'm going to try to cancel it because I don't have the information they're looking for I don't have it yet and then they're going to be like oh well you're a fucking fraud and either they're going to ask me to come in and like try to give it to them anyway or they're going to um cancel my whole thing because I'm a fraud I dreamed all last night which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing whenever I dream like the whole night I like to think of it as like a release like my, my mind was had like pent up thoughts it needed to ruminate about and then those dreams were like my brain ruminating <laughs> like meditation I guess dreams are meditation in a, like a way 
literally i get so it'll be like long periods of time when i'm frustrated and i'm like overeating or over drinking or smoking weed or like just engaging in unhealthy vices trying to avoid any kind of thought and then I'll um I'll be like what's wrong with me why do I feel so anxious why am I so stressed what am I even avoiding and then I'll meditate for literally five minutes and whatever problem I was having mentally is gone because I solved it in those five minutes but I didn't want to take those five minutes to fucking think I don't like thinking and that's so unhealthy. That's like the most unhealthy you could be where you just become like a consumer of everything. This isn't anti-consumerism. This is just like mentally... You gotta think, dude. <laughs> Look at yourself in the mirror. Talk to yourself in the mirror. Be like, hi, hello, what's your issue? Talk to yourself for like five minutes trying to like figure out what your main problem is and then go meditate on it for 20 minutes you don't even need 20 minutes you need like 10 minutes and you're done maybe you'll cry maybe you'll fucking get really angry but you have to still sit there and think about why you're angry so you can find a solution mentally instead of physically because you're not going to find a solution physically you have to find it in your head and then act on it physically outside you have to think, what is my problem with this person or this thing? Oh, it's because they act like this and I don't like this because of this. So I have to think, why don't I like this thing? Okay, I don't like this thing because of this thing. And that's a problem with me that I have to change. That's meditation. <laughs> Ooh. I didn't clean my teeth today. <laughs> I didn't even shower today either. I got a habit of just wetting my hair and then letting it dry so that it's not oily, but I don't actually wash it because that's too much effort. But I think it's fine. That's like healthy for your hair, right? I wash it and then the second day I rinse it. Third day I usually still rinse it. And then the fourth day I wash my hair again. It also gives it volume because it like dries. Um, in like nice shapes. I don't think shampoo or conditioner is good for my hair. Whatever hair type I have, it like weighs it down in a weird way and it makes it look greasy and flat. And then like the third day, like right now where my hair is kind of greasy, but I've rinsed it and I've I've dried it with a towel and with a hair dryer, it looks better. It looks good. It has like volume because it naturally does. It naturally sits at like my bangs naturally sit at a 90 degree angle whenever I shaved my hair before and it was growing back. I had to go through great lengths to get my hair to sit down flat. <laughs> Even whenever it was like, like this length. Right here. Also, my hair was this length six months ago and I cut it so it was like here and it did look really good but it was because I was skinny. You can't have that haircut if you're like kind of fat because people will be like, that's a weird haircut. Like it's not that it's actually weird, it's that you're just kind of pulling it off a little less. I don't know. I'm just like, I'm not saying this is, uh, that's the way it is. I'm just like saying from my observations, I've observed. Also from my own pattern of thought. Because I'm like internally, I'm internally homophobic and I'm internally fatphobic. But externally, there's nothing wrong with being fat. I think being fat often means you're, you could be happy fat. But most people are sad fat. Not that they look sad, but they're fat because they are sad and they eat their feelings. Wait, wait. When I say fat, I mean chubby. I mean like, like, okay, no, okay, so like chubby and then there's like after chubby, but not quite obese. In between there, that's what I mean when I say fat. Because I call myself chubby right now. I have an angular face, so it's like, you can't even tell, but like. I'm also, I think I'm petite. Like, I, like, I don't know. Like, this isn't someone, you know? This isn't someone who's thin. Uh, my body's small, but it's not thin. Extremely out of shape. I stopped running ages ago. Whenever I first got here, I was like, so stressed out. Because I didn't want to be here, I didn't want to live with people, so I got obsessed with cleaning everything and I got obsessed with not wanting other people's 
germs and bacteria to be near me and I was like fuck I can't leave my room ever I have to store food I have to store food in my room I have to store everything in my room I cannot leave my room and I have to scrub my room from top to bottom because that's where all the germs are and I like running on the treadmill because I can't gain weight and it was like this whole thing where I was so fucking obsessed obsessed that's called what's that called <laughs> compulsive that's called compulsivity bitch and i'm over it but i think it's because i got really depressed and i um started lying in my bed and doing everything in my like just giving up is why i just gave up <laughs> And I was like, what well, does it matter if their germs mix with mine? If I die, I die. I'll be dead. And I made peace with death a long time ago. So it's not like, I'm not suicidal. I mean, I am. I'm not going to kill myself ever. But if I die, I won't be upset about it. I think everyone should feel that way. If you're upset about death, how can you ever be happy? Because you'll be happy and then you'll be like, oh, but I'll die someday. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh, but I'll die someday though. So what's the point of being happy? <laughs> uh, look at this. My dog bit its nose. I love shit like this. Novelty ducks. I think they're so funny. I love those claw machines. There's one in, I don't know if it's still there, but there was one. I'm gonna out my location right now. Barry's. Gold Rush, with a Protestant Unionist majority. Yes. Can you just make sure you get the back way turns upside down? Turns upside down. Mm -hmm. There was a uh, claw duck, there was like a claw machine at Barry's where you could get, where you could win little novelty ducks with like hats and most like like themed ducks but I'm not obsessed I'm not obsessed with anything <laughs> except myself and everything ever I think I'd be a good tv writer I'm like okay so I was like on my fourth rewatch of all of American Dad which because it's such a weird fucking show it's so fucking weird. How do they allow it? How does it get weird? I, I think if you're not a fan of it and you watch an episode now and it's just weird and minimalist and you're like, what the fuck? People like this? But if you watch an episode, like a past episode, you're like, yeah, this is a normal, like, Seth MacFarlane-esque show. But now it's just like, I feel like because it has, because of this weird fan base that likes the weird shit, it leans into it so much and it's got, anyway, anyway, anyway. I like Roger. I don't like Roger now. I liked him in the, like, the early episodes. I think he's sure season two has like back to back two really good episodes. The one where Stan, my brain stopped. The one where Stan and Roger sw sw swap lives. That's like one of my best, one of my favorite episodes of like TV ever. It's so relatable, like, both ways. And then, then the subplot with the monkeys is so fucking funny. The monkeys performing cats. Um, and then the one where Francine joins, like, this group of girls. And she pretends she's cheating on Stan. Is that the other one? I don't remember. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that one and the one after it. What was I talking about? Okay, so, yeah, right. So, like, last year or two years ago. I, last year or a while ago I don't know I was watching American Dad and there was a season that was really really boring and shit because it didn't utilize the characters that well and I would be, literally wrote an episode of American Dad I don't even remember what the plot was but I remember thinking this is better than whatever the hell they're doing with these fucking episodes with these characters they're not even using them well what makes the show good is the characters and how they react to things and how they react with the how they interact with each other because how they interact with each other is great. Like how Healy is with Stan, how Healy is with her mother, how, her, how Francine is with literally everybody, how Roger, like like their interactions with literally everybody is is ripe for, but like all the plots now don't even revolve around their interactions. It revolves around weird um, sci-fi things. 
like the one about the mall that was kind of like midnight mass and the one about the radio tower which was weird and the, they like the, just these weird like horror concepts is what they're doing now and i'm not mad about it i like it but why these characters these concepts could be in any show but you're not using the characters the way that like i understand you're just looking for more plots so you're just trying to think okay so here's a plot but it's got nothing to do with the actual characters in the show it doesn't matter that you, you know i go in rants like this when the camera's not even rolling you're so stupid look at me in cool lighting i look so different in my opinion Back to the warm. So I just got the right code for the power and I wish I was filming whenever I put it in because it was like, uh, it did a little tune like doo -doo -doo -doo. and it was really cute. And it would be nice to have. I don't know why I'm talking about it if I didn't film it, like nobody cares. Look at this. He looks like he's seen things. No! Oh, there was a bird sitting right there and it looked big. The second I start filming, it flies away. I hate thinking about, about being a bird in the rain. Because where do you go? Where do birds go when there's a storm? They fucking live in trees. <laughs> Like, how fucked up is that? Oh no, did my tree that I fucking live in with my little infant babies. It's windy outside, I guess we'll all die. What the fuck? This is not where I expected this song to go. Like full disclosure, I've never heard this before. I assumed it was Daft Punk. I assumed it was like some kind of Daft Punk intro. Alexa, who sings this? This is Daft Punk and Paul Who is this English bastard singing? This me off. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Okay, those little guitar sounds. Two little like. This reminds me of the cringy um, Glee cover. Oh my god, it was so bad. 
like most people's favorite moment in Glee, but, it could, but I just thought it was cringy. The lyrics, like the moment, oh, that's sweet, but why did they choose that song? Kitty kitty! Look at this little kitty kitty. <laughs> Look at her go. Oh. Spectacular. Okay, goodbye. What is that noise? That's just the normal hole in the ceiling. Okay. Bye, kitty kitty. I'm allergic to cats. Oh my god. Do you hear that? Superstitious! This bitch. He's having a smoke, and she's taking a drag, and I'm going to bed, and my stomach is sick. But it's all in my head, but she's touching his. Okay, that was very, very flat. Superstition ain't the way. Do you think there are aliens like on the planet or do you think that they're like avoiding us? Because those are the two options, right? Either they're avoiding us, humanity, like on the earth, or they're here. Or like the concept of aliens is so strange anyway, because then you have to define like, well, what is an alien? Is it like a humanoid creature or is it bacteria just found on another planet? Because if you have to like specify that before you start talking about, you know, if they're here or not. Like if you find something in the center of the earth and it like doesn't apply to the laws of physics, or like just the laws of science in general, does that make it alien? Do aliens have to conform to the laws of physics as they are on the planet? Because the laws of physics aren't even constant, like they change sometimes, and isn't that fucked up? That means you can't rely on anything if, 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 if the laws of physics aren't even real. If they're just kind of like a guideline made up by humans. Because we're people on the planet, right? What makes us think that we could ever comprehend what the hell is going on? And we're trying to figure out why this is like this, or why this is like this. But your brain follows the laws of physics. Your brain is a solid mass on the planet that follows the laws of physics that follows the laws of nature so like you're in the free will doesn't exist you have these predetermined you're like stuck in what your brain is capable of doing and i don't think nature will allow us to be able to comprehend much outside of are you insane so does anyone want to try to watch me uh try to light a fire okay i cannot do this while holding a phone at the same time right I think it actually, I think it actually would have been fine if I held the camera well. The camera while well carrying the pizza box because it was like, <laughs> whoa. And what's up? Okay, so I read, I read the message from Universal Credit and it said that I think the appointment's about other stuff. So now I'm really nervous that the appointment is on. I have to go to an appointment tomorrow. It's so scary. Scared. What if they ask me questions and I answer wrong and they cancel my thing? I don't even care if they cancel it at this point. I just... Jesus. Can they... <laughs> because if they cancel it, that means I won't have to go outside. And maybe I can kill myself and get out of it. I'm always kind of looking for an excuse. I'm so stressed about this appointment. It's 10.50. It's currently <clears throat> 9.47. I thought about cancelling it um, for a whole hour while I lay in bed. I didn't want to get up, bitch, because I didn't want to... <laughs> I don't want to go outside. It's fucking dark and it's cold and it's wet. I have to go to this office where I have to sit and they're going to ask me a bunch of fucking questions. And I'm going to answer them wrong and then they're going to deny me and then I'm going to leave and be like, okay, well this was a waste of my time. Because I'm a fucking failure. I was stress eating all last night about it. Oh my god, I just kept like 
fucking shoving food in my fucking mouth. I'm still doing it. This morning, the first thing I did when I wake, woke up was make fucking pancakes. I don't even like pancakes. I also couldn't fucking sleep either. I got maybe two hours of sleep. And this eye is now very red. And I feel fucking sick. I'm like too good for this. I'm like too good for anything. I'm like too good for you, too good for your mom. Too good to be alive, bitch. I'm too good for this. I'm too good for this. <laughs> 